In the last 50 years, Singapore has become a financial leader in the Southeast Asia region and worldwide. It has managed to reach an esteemed status not by their abundance of natural resources, but their monetary wealth, educated workforce, and strategic location. An international banking hub located in the downtown core, where the Singapore River meets Marina Bay, Fullerton Square takes advantage of all three drivers. In 1929, Sir Robert Fullerton, the first governor of the Strait Settlement, which included Singapore, ordered for a fort to be built on that site to defend Singapore against naval attacks. This fort became known as Fort Fullerton and remained in use for almost 45 years. Despite being a military zone, the area attracted many European immigrants and became the core of many significant moments in Singapore's history. A cargo handling and trading company known as A.L. Johnston & Co., the first European business to set up in Singapore, was based there in the 1840s. German immigrants also left their mark on this site with the establishment of one of their two medical halls on the island. The building where this medical hall was located became famously known as Red House due to its red brick facade. Historically, Fullerton Square has also been seen as a stage. In 1882, the center of the square was chosen as the original site for a fountain to commemorate Tan Kim Seng. Tan Kim Seng was a Malacca native that made numerous contributions to Singapore, most notably improving the waterworks of Singapore in the 19th century after making a fortune as a trader. The Chartered Bank opened at the square in 1890. Two short years later, the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank, commonly known as HSBC, would open its first location in Singapore at the intersection of Battery Road and Fullerton Square. Following the dismantle of the fort, Singapore's General Post Office would relocate to the area and occupy a small bungalow. The bungalow was later demolished and replaced by a new post office building in 1882. So far, these transformations take the history of Fullerton Square up to the day where this postcard was created, somewhere between 1895 and 1905. The postcard illustrates the intersection of Battery Road, Flint Street, and Fullerton Square. On the left is a Red House Medical Hall. At the center focus is a chartered bank, and to the right is a Tan Kim Sang Fountain. After the postcard, Fullerton Square continued its trend of attracting international banks. The Chartered Bank building was demolished in 1850 to make way for the Bank of China. After its completion in 1955, the Building of China was the first air-conditioned building in Singapore, a cultural norm nowadays, and one of the first skyscrapers in the Southeast Asia region. Throughout the years, the Battery Road and Flint Street intersection would see many transformations. The Flint Building would take over the A.L. Johnson & Co. building before being damaged in a fire in 1906. Right away, Laidlaw & Co. would place their offices with one of their popular department stores at the ground level, and finally, Maybank would convert it into the 32-story Maybank Tower that stands there today, an icon in Singapore's skyline. In 1972, Straits Trading would take over the site of the recognized Red House and construct the Straits Trading Building. The building was redeveloped in 1998 to look like what it does today. Additionally, the Tan Kim Seng Fountain was relocated from the square to Battery Road in 1905 and Esplanade Park in 1925 where it still resides today. This picture shows what Fullerton Square looks like today from the same view as a postcard from the start of the 20th century. On the left is the Straits Trading Building, formerly the site of Red House, followed by the Bank of China as a center focus, formerly the site of the Standard Chartered Bank, and to the right the May Bank Tower followed by the Fullerton Hotel. The area where the Tan Kim Seng Fountain originally erected has been replaced by a little partition of greenery on the wide road, a road that is now being used by motor vehicles instead of carriages. Despite Fullerton Square's very different look today, the same activities that were happening there over 120 years ago continue to take place there. With over seven different banks in its surroundings, Fullerton Square continues to be an international banking hub and a commercialized area that takes advantage of Singapore's three main drivers, money, workforce, and location.